And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to write in a circle. What we need for that is a circle. Hold control when you drag that with the ellipse tool. And you've got your circle. Let me give that a different color. The yellow was a little bit too intense. We need some text, obviously. Let me just type in write in a circle. And I call it one. As I set up holding control and then I right click and duplicate. I drag the copy downwards, press T for the type tool and I change it to number two. We will need that for the second effect that I'm going to show you. I'll put that at the bottom. Make sure that you've got the first text and the circle selected. Go to text and put on path. That's the basic effect. Don't just use the cursor tool, click on it and rotate it. As you can see, it distorts kind of like the lines because they've got two different center lines. Don't just use the rotate tool on the text, select the circle and then use the rotate tool in the top menu. And that way you will rotate the text as well. If you want to center it, just put it a little bit below the center on the left and then use your type tool. Press space and when you want to adjust it only slightly hold alt and use the arrow keys to adjust the kerning. And that centers it manually. But I think it's a little bit too big. Let me size it down to 100. And once again, always select the circle and then rotate it. So the second text, it needs to have 100 as well. So it needs to have the same size as the first one. If you just put it on the path, it doesn't work. It has the same direction. So we need to do something else to change the direction. If you want to put it at the bottom, at first right click and duplicate the circle. Let me give that a fully red color. Then go to path and use dynamic offset. Use your notes tool. And there's only one node at the bottom. Just drag it so that it covers the first text. Let me put that to the bottom on the object. And I'll size it a little bit down. So maybe up to here, that should be good. So you can see it covers the top of the first text. Then select only the red circle. So the one, the bigger one at the outside at the bottom and the second text. Then go to text and put on power. And you can see now it has the different alignment or the different direction in the circle and we can put it at the bottom. Just select the red circle, rotate it. And then once again, press T for the type tool and use the spacebar or hold alt and use the arrow keys to adjust the kerning. And afterwards you can size the text up, no problem with that. But just make sure that the one at the top has the same size as the one at the bottom. So I'll pick 150 here. So now we want to get rid of the circle so that we only have the text. And we can't just get rid of it, but we can make it transparent. To do that, just shift click, so hold shift and select both circles. And afterwards go to object, fill and stroke. Go to your fill menu and get rid of the fill with no paint. So the circles are still there, but we can't see them anymore as they are now transparent. And this is how you can write in a circle in Inkscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.